Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, somebody's in the streets. <laughs> All good. How was the weekend? It was good. Just resting. It, it was great. <laughs> great, huh? What did you do? Just take a rest and sleep. Uh, you probably not say take a rest. I just rested and slept. Okay. Um, who else? Nobody wants to share? Who did something fun? Nobody? No. <laughs> you, no. what did you do? All right. So I, <laughs> sorry. I just stayed at home with my family and we had uh, we did, uh, lunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today I just start my, my homework for the university. Yep, it's a lot to do, right? I mean, especially on the computer, you have to work a lot on it. So anyway, I said there was something we needed to continue working on. Welcome everyone, and again, thank you for joining us. Uh, there are some people that are not gonna be with us, but they messaged me, so that's all right. Let's see, um, we were working with gerunds as objects and as subjects, right? Very challenging taking care of children must be. We're gonna make some sentences before we start practicing just to review it. Okay, so number one, what do you think it is? Uh, Carlos de Leon? Remember you're on mute. Carlos de Leon? I don't think I hear you. Who Carlos? Let me try. Oh, I don't hear him. All right, Raúl Montoya, go ahead. Okay, uh, taking care of children must be very challenging. Must be very challenging. Like this, right? Challenging. Great. Thank you. Everybody mute the microphone, please. Unless you're the one answering. Because I hear dogs, children, music. Oh, lots of noise. <laughs> Jay-Z. <laughs> Number two, Los <All> Puchos. Right. <laughs> you want to practice. All right, Jay-Z, what's number two? Working on a movie set sounds fascinating. Working on a movie set sounds fascinating. All right, great. Gabriel Granados, number three. Okay. Go ahead, I hear you. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, making a living as an artist would be pretty difficult. Making a living as an artist, an artist could be pretty difficult. Could be pretty difficult. All right, awesome. And number four, Wilber Monge. I don't hear you, Wilbur. You're okay, now, working as an architect sounds interesting. Yeah, okay, that works. So do you all have these answers on the platform? Yes. Yes. You already finished this? Make sure you're pronouncing this S, guys, because I don't hear it when you say it. Sounds fascinating, right? Sounds, and you connect it. Sounds interesting. 
Let's see if that's the one. Oh, there's a mistake. Taking care, that space I think it is. <laughs> Probably it. Yeah, it was an extra space. Be careful with extra spaces because this happened. All right, then how to use adjectives and nouns to make comparisons. Mm, I don't think we're gonna do it right now. I need you to practice a little bit more using gerunds as subjects. Space. Okay. So we're going to discuss the following things. I would like you to make sentences. More than making sentences, I would like to give your opinion, right, on if, for example, studying English. So say something about studying English, all right? And then say something about smoking, about eating healthy. We're gonna have a last discussion before we change topics. And also eating healthy, sleeping, something about sleeping, all right? Something about practicing spoken English okay also speeding do you know do you guys know what speeding is what's speeding uh-huh driving over the limit. like to go fast <laughs> yeah okay you got it you guys know <laughs> don't be shy <laughs> <laughs> All right, speeding is exceeding the speed limit. Okay, that's what it is. So what do you think about that? When I drive a car very fast. You know, the thing is that that is subjective, maybe, but you have to compare it to the speed limit. So if you're passing the speed limit, then that is speeding already. Because it could be very slowly, but in a community street or something, then it may be considered speeding. So. All right, the other one is uh, some questions. All right, I'm gonna ask you, what makes you feel? Da, da, da. And now, tell me some adjectives, please. We're gonna say happy, proud of yourself. Makes you feel excited. Okay, what makes you feel sad? sad? Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say that. What else? Mm -hmm. Three more guys, help me out, please. Motivated. Comfortable. Comfortable, very good. And one more. Positive. Positive. Oh, you know what? Disgusted. We're say... Okay, disgusted, I like that, disgusted. Annoying. <laughs> annoyed, okay. I like that one too. Yeah, we didn't say angry. Angry and annoyed. So for all of these, we're gonna use gerunds, okay? For example, studying English, let's finish the sentence. Somebody help me finish it, please. Extra points for good answers about English. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I cannot give you extra points anyway. So, uh -huh, studying English. Come on, guys, help me out. Makes me happy. That, studying English makes me feel motivated. No, but we're going to discuss feelings here, right, at this point. So studying English is... To make you better. Okay, can get you a better job, right? We can say anything. Can get you a better job. Gives you plenty of opportunities, right? Do you agree? Yeah. And look, yes. I'm using gives because this is third singular person. All right, so pay attention to that. Yes, here, instead of talking about feelings, I would like you to give your opinion about this, not feelings. In this part, you're gonna talk about feelings. So we're gonna say, hey, what makes you happy? In Mar I don't hear you. You guys forget. 
What makes you happy? All right. I made me feel happy. Um, stay mm -hmm. with my family. Yeah, be careful with how you structure that sentence, right? So being, not like staying, okay? No, being in general. Being yeah. with uh, my family. Being, being with my family. So yeah. what you have Sorry. to answer here, guys, you need to answer the complement. And here you need to answer with the gerund, right? So being with my family is a oh. gerund. Okay. And then you talk about feelings, all right? Makes me feel happy. All right. Okay, so this is the answer. In here, this is the answer. Any, okay. any verb, any action. Is that clear? You don't need to write them. You just need to say it, have a conversation, but make sure you're using the correct grammar, please. All right. Can we practice now? Ready? Yes. yes. Do it. Let's Ready. practice that. So we're going to work in small groups of three. Three, some groups of four. Here we go. Active presentation, please. Let's go. Accept, accept. Save the questions. I'll send you a picture. Accept the invitation, please. Hello. Can you hear me? The hum. Yeah. Only that. Yeah. In, okay. in quarantine, uh, uh, weekends is almost the, 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 the same. same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, my mom. Course. My mom says that. For she, all days are Sundays or Saturdays because my sister and I always in the house. <laughs> For her. In my case, it's different because uh, on weekend, I rest. But on week, I get my work because I work. Never had to try. Okay. <laughs> Uh, smoke is, smoking is dangerous for your body. Okay. Okay. So, um, eating healthy could be the best option for us. Good, good. Uh, uh, this, this week, I have to go to work one day, only Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. About days, that. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's try uh, to complete those. About the yeah smoking. Correct. Okay. Or doing exercise every every day makes me feel motivated. Motivated. Yeah. How are you Correct. exercising at home, Amy? Um, I, I do exercise with my friend, with my best friend. Hello, 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 hello. I'm sorry, do you yes. hear me, guys? Yes, yes, we can, Carlos. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, I, I have a couple of issues with this thing. No, it's okay, okay. we can hear you. Okay. All right, good, good. Smoking. Okay. Eating, eating healthy. Oh. Eating healthy. Eating healthy. Uh, uh -huh. Eating healthy is important that so you can, for, and also it's really bad for your health and you can get cancer or something like that. That's why yes. I think smoking is really tender for your health and also 
and also for other people because you can create the I don't I don't know what is that I forgot the meaning in English so well anyway that's so okay and then <laughs> yeah I prefer to be happy to be honest <laughs> but sometimes <laughs> you, <laughs> but sometimes you need to to eat some help some help yeah. He it is necessary eating healthy yeah sometimes but i i still thinking it's boring <laughs> <laughs> okay let me see another one could be, um, sleeping sleeping all night made me make me cool get you sick Fatima, i hadn't recognized you <laughs> you look very <laughs> really? dark tonight <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it's probably the lighting in your your. Yes, I I'm in other room. Yeah, I, I had to recognize you. Here you are. Okay. And I am uh, uh, I had your. Say, how do you say tail? A ponytail. <laughs> yes. Very nice ponytail. Okay. What are we discussing? Smoking. Smoking. It's, it's good. Smoking. Say it's um right. Say could get you sick. Smoking could get you sick. Yeah. Yes, where smoking causes a long, long cancer. No, that's mine. <laughs> oh, you were going to say that? Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's my example. That's a smart move. Oh. Say, hey, that was my example. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to say it right, <laughs> the same like you. Smoking can cause long cancer. <laughs> no, but to make oh, it yeah. Gabriel, you can say causes, because every gerund is third person right yeah. so smoking causes cancer okay so yeah. smoke cool no cool get you yes okay this is okay. cool get you yes it's a motor all right uh -huh. very good okay leila roberto mm. yeah uh, <laughs> could be better to speak moms when you um I don't know, read the, the English, uh, you can see that it's not like healthy, healthy, healthy food, right? So yeah. uh, it can be very difficult, but I think I agree that we have to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so uh, sleeping, Carlos. Sorry, we have to try okay. what, Marcela? Um, yeah, we have to try <laughs> eating more healthy food than junk food. <laughs> ah, it's difficult. Ah, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> That's only because of our culture. Our yeah. Culture is like everything is deep fried, sugary, and uh, so hard. Mm -hmm. You see, yeah, and, is like and, totally. <laughs> in in Argentina, the people, the culture is more like eating healthy food, or it's just like. A, here. Yeah. It's not like in El Salvador because um, the industry is regulated, so it's prohibited to put too much sugar on something or make it too salty, so people don't eat salt, they don't eat as much sugar, so the, the dishes are pasta, for example, so or they bake it instead of frying it. In the uh, end, everybody who I met like me, right, that they were somewhat chubby, <laughs> in this country that we always lose weight <laughs> you are forced to change the, the habits you have so in a way it's good and the food is like and pupusas around you all the time so it's easier to lose weight <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry and Marcella, you were saying? very con condiment or is like um less condiment that little yeah. spices yeah you don't put too much Mm. Okay. But you eat a lot of meat? No, not really. No. no, no, no. Okay. Okay. okay, so you were going to talk about sleeping. Yeah. yeah, sleeping. Go ahead. Problem. Uh -huh. because, uh, when you are speaking in English, you need to think in English only, mm -hmm. or Spanish. To translate the Spanish to English, difficult. I know that's my <laughs> my little problem. Try, try. In my 
okay it's the same because i uh when i uh, read i understand very well but when i yeah. speak i it's very complicated for me because yeah. i am remembering spanish and after or that I, I try to make the sentence in my head but when I have to say it, my mouth doesn't answer me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Cindy and Blanca, are you reading in English? Yeah. But do you read out loud? No. <laughs> well, that's the problem. You need to read out loud all the time. And that your brain interprets that as speaking. So it's um, like a speaking practice. Yeah, if you read and you don't say it out loud, it doesn't help you much. Yeah. Okay. So I recommend you do that. Thank you. Thanks for the advance. <laughs> no, you're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to help you a lot. Don't worry, don't worry, never. Carlos. We are not going to. <laughs> Please don't judge me, but. Well, you know, we are, in, we are in quarantine, so I need to spend my time in something and. Well, I think it's better to spend my time starting English, but I spend my time watching TikToks. So, so. I want to see you in class every night, Carlos, because if you stick it, I, her, I can't be in class tonight because I, I have this interesting TikTok video, so sorry, I can't be in class. Okay. I have to be in class every night. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I think is sleeping is um wonderful too. From wonderful. Um, my experience, uh, <laughs> I I had to stay awake very very late at night because my work, the university, and everything else. So I have to my sleeping hours um were distortion. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm trying to to sleep in certain hour. For example, I have to sleep um, before 10 p.m. This is like my rule right now because I have to. I don't know. It's I love to sleep, but when I go to the bed, I can sleep like um I don't know how to say it. But right away. Right away. Yeah, so I oh, ha we have um, somebody here. Excuse me. Uh, what's your name? It says Usuario, so I don't know your name. Yeah, we didn't see you. Oh, no, sorry. here she is. What's your name? Oh, no, I don't hear you. You haven't seen her? Okay, no, I don't know. Can you hear us though? I think she can hear us. Hold on, we can't hear you. And what's your name? All right, have you started with um, the feelings or not yet? No, not yet. Not yet, you're having fun, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, go on, let me check everyone else. But you can continue. If you have me. Make me happy. Um, spending time with my kids. Yeah. Makes, makes me, happy. me happy. Very good. Makes me happy uh, when when I when I when I when I, when I, when I eat in no, when I eat in. No. <laughs> You need to start with the gerund, okay? Because in, oh, okay. English, in Spanish we say me hace feliz esto, but in English you cannot say that esto me hace feliz. So you need to start uh, with the subject. Eating. In case the subject is eating, right? Eating, eating makes me happy. Makes me happy, or being with my family makes me happy, and so on, okay? Start with the gerund, please. Okay. Very good. Eating. Cooking, a, cooking a good. Makes you sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every generally. time, okay. No, generally, it depends the movie That's or the program. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, let me check. Smoking. No, hey, you made it! Yay! 
Yes. <laughs> like, let me try. I'm going to try to get home quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yes. I'm going late. It's all right. Yes, at least half hour. Yeah, yeah. No, I know you're usually in every class. So I understand. Yes, and... I try. Okay. Yes. No, I try to don't miss a class. I try uh, not to miss. Often. Or not to I, I, I try not to miss a class very often. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. I like okay. that. Okay. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> What question are you discussing? Or did you finish all of them? Um, for example, uh, break, breaking my computer make, made me feel sad. Makes, with letter S. Makes. Makes me feel sad. Yeah, yes. during this time. <clears throat> Especially because I had, I Yes. Speeding. In the furious. <laughs> speeding. Speeding. Mm. Speeding. Speeding will, will give you a traffic ticket. Okay. How do you say? Miss. Um. Hi, teacher. Hi. I hadn't been here. No. No, right? You haven't? I, I went to group like four times already and not here. I hadn't been here. We were waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you finish? Yes. Yeah, we have been talking. All right. <laughs> share an answer with me. So what makes you feel motivated? Studying English makes me feel motivated. Why, Wilbur? Because I know that if I learn and I speak very fluent and mm -hmm. people can understand me and I can find a good job, you know, or yeah, that's why that is the most important thing. Okay, great. What about you, Gerardo? Okay, what's make me feel motivated? Um, spending time with my daughter make me feel motivated uh, because she make me happy makes me and she makes me happy being with her make put that letter s again again please 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 the she journey made me happy. yeah the journey as an activity is third singular person so you need letter s learning english okay. makes me happy my daughter makes me happy being with my daughter makes me happy with letter s all right or if makes me happy. That's a third singular person. Okay. Thanks. And you, Jose? Uh, to me, working makes me happy, and, and I'm missing. Uh, and I'm missing it. Uh, I I love my work because I've been working in the same company for the last twenty years, and I never been. Um, I never non-stop. Uh, that's I've been working because non -stop. I, 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 I've been working non-stop. Mm -hmm. I've been working non-stop since 20 years. Where do you work? Uh, uh, I, I work. Uh, it's a little factory, a uh, cloth. Um, yeah, I work on an, an accountant. That's an accountant. Uh, as yes, an I'm an accountant. Interesting. As an accountant. That's uh, good. <laughs> that working makes you happy. I mean, that's amazing. All right, since you are the first group to finish, because nobody has finished, but I didn't know you had, we're going to go back now. All right, let's go back. Okay. Alrighty, that was funny. I heard some of your answers, they were good. So I don't think we need any more review because you're using it perfectly right, right now. So we're good, we can move on. Let's go to section 2.5 then.
Uh, read the objective, please. Amy? By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adjectives and nouns to make comparisons. Very good. Okay. So you know what we're gonna do, right? Notebooks ready, pen ready, let's pay attention, take as many details as we can, write down as many details, and let's watch. Here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using adjectives and nouns. For example, let's say that you're considering being a fashion designer or an accountant. Being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Or maybe you're considering working as a doctor or a nurse. So a doctor has worse hours than a nurse. So in order to express these ideas, we need to use adjectives and nouns to make these comparisons. So let me do the following. Let me just uh, present the structure. But uh, before we do that, what I would like to do is present this um, comparison structures. Uh, let me just quickly point out that um, all the comparisons that we're going to do in this class and also the following, we're, we're just going to use these few comparisons, as you can see. We're going to use these words to make the comparisons. So as you can see, we could say more. And um, here in the middle, we will include an adjective. Uh, and um, and then we'll include then, and that will make the comparison there. Um, on the other hand, we could use less, and at the same time, we'll use an adjective there. Um, so a quick example, um, being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Okay, or being an accountant is less interesting than being a fashion designer, and so on and so forth. Um, I guess also, uh, since I pointed out a doctor, a doctor has worse hours than a nurse, or a nurse has better hours than a doctor. Uh, and then we're going to use this um, other ones here to point out that they might have similarities, that they might be the same or that they might not be the same. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing in uh, this class. So let's try to make the comparison with, between two jobs. Um, what we'll do is we'll select this first two as you can see here. So we have this one looks like a lawyer and picture number two looks like a mechanic. So let's make the comparison between lawyer and a mechanic. Before we do that, we want to have some uh, work-related adjectives in mind such as stressful, fantastic, fascinating, difficult, easy, interesting, dangerous. And of course there are many more but because of time we're not going to go through. Um, a lot of other adjectives. Uh, and we also want to have uh, or we want to consider work related uh, nouns. So what are nouns? They're just people, places, or things, right? So in this case when we think about jobs we want to think about things like hours, like how many hours you work, education, uh, how much education do you have, uh, work, uh, is your job, does your job consist of doing a lot of work, right? Uh, and these are the kind of things that we want to keep in mind in order for us to make uh, these comparisons. So what can we say about a lawyer versus, uh, let's say, a mechanic, right? We want to make the comparison between those two. Well, uh, we could say the following. I think we could say that working as a lawyer uh, is more <clears throat> stressful than working as as a mechanic. And then, so we will use an adjective in this case. I decided to use the adjective stressful, uh, and it's I think it's also important to mention that this is an an opinion, right? So my opinion could be different than yours. You could think the opposite of this. So I I wouldn't know neither one of those two because I never worked as a lawyer or as a mechanic so I wouldn't know which one is more stressful. But it sounds like the lawyer is more stressful, right? And the way that we do it is, well, 
we're, notice that we're continuing using general phrases similar to uh, the previous class that we had where, where we learned how to make general phrases. So working as a lawyer is more stressful than working as a mechanic. Um, at the same time, you could uh, you could say working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer, um, and that's in essence is basically the same sentence, right? But it's just in a different way. Working as a mechanic is less stressful than working as a lawyer. There you go. Here we go. And the reason I did this is because I quickly wanted to point out that we can use either more um, or we could also use less, right? So what else could we say about a lawyer and a mechanic? Is as interesting as working as a mechanic. So if I absolutely love cars, then definitely I think that working as a mechanic is very interesting so in this case I wanted to point this one out uh, because I want to express that both jobs are the same so to me both jobs um, have the same level if you will right they are the same one is not better than the other uh, and again this is my opinion um, because I love cars and I also think that um, uh, lawyers are interesting and the work that the lawyers do is very interesting. So again, I want to point out that in this case I'm using adjectives to make the comparisons. What I want to do next is use nouns to make the comparisons. So what kind of nouns can we think about when uh, we think about comparing these two jobs? Well, previously I mentioned that we can think of things like hours, maybe education, uh, or perhaps the type of work that people do. So, well, lawyer and mechanic, it, it usually is the case that a lawyer has more education than a mechanic, right? So, uh, in this case, we can say that a lawyer has more education uh, than a mechanic. Uh, this is the noun that I am using to compare. What else can we say about the two jobs? Well, um, I could probably say that a mechanic has better hours than a lawyer. Okay, and in this case, as you can see, I used the one here in the middle better, and in the middle, I included uh, the noun to make the comparisons. Right, so the noun that I'm using to compare it's hours. At the same time, I could say a lawyer has worse hours than a mechanic, okay? Uh, and perhaps I could say that All right, let me see. So we're going to use some of these adjectives right here. Let me see. Uh, um, right here. If you can take, I don't know if you took notes, but if you didn't, take a screenshot of this, please. Can somebody take a screenshot and send it to a group? So you can use those words or any words you want to use, but these are ideas in case we run out of them. Okay. Thank you. Somebody sent it. Yay. Good, good. And then we have these. We're going to be using more, better, as. This is it's, it's similar, right? And less or more. So somebody, can somebody take a screenshot of this, please? Send that to a group so we can compare, all right? Now, I would like you to check WhatsApp, and I will send you two images. Oh, no. That was not a picture of it. All right, look. So we have some professions there. Check. These right here. Can you see them? All right, you can talk about them and make comparisons, okay? You have a nurse, you have an artist, and you can say, a, try to use one of these. More, less, better, worse, not as, or as, all right? 
So you can say, for example, being, try to use the gerund, being a policeman is as dangerous as being a military, right? Maybe, I don't know, it could be. I would like you to make comparisons, discuss them. I'll send you two pictures and try to discuss as much as you can. We will have seven minutes for this activity so we can make as many comparisons as we can, all right? So, active invitation, please. Maybe I can recreate them. Three to four. There it is. So, accept it, please, and let's make comparison. Go ahead. I, um, for example, um, need to choose yeah. to pick two, pro two professions. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, pilot and uh, policeman. Okay. okay. So, policeman. I think like working as a pilot is more interesting than working as a Policeman. Yes. Very yes. good. Did you say then or that? Then. Uh, that. Then. 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 Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Except then, right? And make sure, like, Mar 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 oh. the way Marcela did it is all right, okay? So say working as a pilot, being a pilot, okay? So start with the journey. But that was great. It's here. It's here. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. Is easier? Okay, uh, well, in my case, I can say an engineer has, has more math experience than a doctor. Can you repeat? More experience, right? Yeah more experience okay. or more knowledge okay okay well being a pilot is more exciting than being a bunker yeah totally yeah <laughs> okay yes if you guys can start with the journey that would be better right being a pilot okay. working as a pilot being okay. being a pilot, okay. Being a pilot is more. I don't know a banker. Banker, okay. Okay. The other one, working as a trainer, is more stressful than being a sportman. Then being, it's a. Yes, then being a sportman. Van being. All right, good. Mm. That's it good. Working as an artist is is um is as excited as being a photographer. You know? Uh -huh. as it's almost the as same being thing. A photographer. Well, uh, excuse me, excuse me. As exciting as being a photographer. Right, being an artist is excited as being a photographer. 
No, as exciting as, you need to use the three of them, as exciting as being a photographer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember being me, why is we use being? Um, because we're starting the sentence. No, we're actually we're taking that as a noun. So you need to use the gerund. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so being a photographer is more la 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 than being an astronaut or whatever it is. Yeah, but that's what we're practicing, gerund. So I have also. another one. Mm -hmm. Work in, working as a policeman is, is as dangerous as being a fireman. Right, that was yeah. perfect, no mistake, very good. Mm -hmm. Interesting as working uh -huh. as a as a military. A military as a military. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Thank you. Being a uh, uh, who's next? Me. Sorry, 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 sorry. Being being a photographer is better than being a uh, a chef. A chef. <laughs> it's a in, in your opinion. <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. Sure. You're doing great. The mistake so far. Good, good. Better paid than a secretary. Yeah. Hey. For my okay. Better paid. Sentence again, Gabriel. Better paid. Oh. What was what? your sentence again? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, being an engineer is better paid than a secretary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that works. Very good. Very good. Have you tried using <laughs> as, as? Have you tried that? No. I have tried, but I haven't. It's, it. going, it's not going so well. Okay, let's try it because we need to be able to use it. So. Compared to okay. things that are equal or the, that you want to say they're not equal. For example, I can say um, being, no, hold on. For example, being a, a chef is not as exciting as being an actor, right? It's not as exciting. It's not the same as what I'm trying to say. It's not as exciting oh, as yes. being an actor. So they don't necessarily need to be the same. And I can say being a fireman is as dangerous as being a policeman or police okay. officer. Okay, so you can use it to say they're the same or they're not the same or both. Try to make mm -hmm. one like that. Secretary, a secretary has. <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> yeah, it's very different. Working as a pilot. Uh, More, more have money? Mm, is, no, is better paid, you can say. Priest. Priest, right? Priest. 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 Being, yes. being a priest is more stre stressful <laughs> than, uh, uh, than, than a chef. Than being a chef. That, than being as a chef. No, being a chef, just like that. Ah, okay. Being a chef. Do you think? <laughs> How you think, Karen? <laughs> yeah, I think it's true. Stressful? Yeah, you have a to priest, a the priest, people. <laughs> I think. By hours. Oh, uh, yeah. So but in the airlines, the salary is very, very good. Yeah. I, I would like to be a pilot. Oh, are. Yeah, um, yeah, anchor like, like Katia Miranda or notices for vision, for example. Anchor. And um, use anchor? Are you talking about a news anchor? Uh, uh, I, I, I said that uh, working as an anchor needs more presentation than working as a farm. Yeah. Yeah, news anchor. anchor. 
<laughs> a news anchor is the person who who talks about the news in on TV. It's not the reporter, it's the one sitting uh, down. Okay. That's the news anchor. That's why they're anchored because they are and clouds, right? right? They don't move and they give you the news right there. I have never mm -hmm. heard that word. Yeah. Yeah. News anchor. News right, anchor. We're going to go back. Okay. Okay. Don't cry. All righty. No, I think I have something here. <laughs> so anyway, um, how was the practice? I didn't hear so many mistakes, so that's good. All right. We just have to check with the exercise tomorrow and see how we do. But it, it was great, actually. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah. Go ahead. Could you please just give us an example using, using not at us? Like yeah, sure. Yeah, this guys is to talk about something that is equal or that is not equal, right? So I can say, for example, being a a chef is not as it needs to be surrounded by as as, okay, and then the adjective. So don't forget that it's as adjective as, okay. So you cannot forget these two elements. So being a chef is not as uh, exciting as being a, a waiter, uh, an actor, uh, the it's the burger teacher. Aha, uh -huh, the burger okay. teacher. Right, don't forget it. <laughs> it's okay if I if I say working as a doctor is not that easy as working as a farmer. Yeah, yeah, but not that easy. Don't say that. No. So it's not as it's, it's easy. It's not as easy. Okay. As easy as working as a farmer. Working as a farmer. And if you want to say that they're exactly the same, we were saying, right? Being or working as a fire person, firefighter, we're going to say firefighter is as dangerous as what, guys? Teacher. Believe me. Teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry, but can you remind me which is the difference between dan as that dan a and as a? Okay, when you say as is to say it's equal. Okay. When you say then you're saying it's more or less. Okay. Thanks. But guys, make sure, okay, some of you were saying then. Okay, that's not correct. Some of you are saying it in Spanish, right? Más que, but this, that doesn't work. It's then, okay, with letter N. So you can say as, then. meaning it's equal, like this example, right? It's as dangerous as being a policeman. Or you can say, not as, when you're trying to say it's not equal, it's not the same. It's not equal, all right? It's the opposite. And here you're saying it's more yeah. or less, okay? So is that clear now? Clear. Yeah, thank you. All righty. Yes, so clear. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. We're going to continue tomorrow. Please be in class. Okay. Gerardo, are you driving? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> He's driving. I was like, what is that right there? Be careful, Gerardo. <laughs> we don't want you to he get No, he wasn't class driving in well. The car. Taking a class. Uh, okay. Okay. Driving, people. driving a car is more dangerous. Than <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to be in a class. That's so. all. Awesome. High five for you. Yeah, good. Okay. Good, good job. Bye. All right, guys. Thank Extra you very much. There. <laughs> Extra <Good> point. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.